Hey there viewers and welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. We got us a 08 Toyota Sienna. Uh, the money lights on, the guy stopped by the other day. Uh, I pulled the codes out of it. It had a code for a uh, oxygen sensor, air fuel ratio sensor, heater circuit. Uh, so I took a big fat guess, ordered us apart from Toyota, and we're here to check it out today. 95% of the time you get an O2 heater code or heater circuit code. Usually it's an open in the O2 heater. Naturally, we're not just gonna wing a $200 AFR in it first without checking it, but I didn't want to have him show up and check it and have him come back and all that business, so I got one just in case. Okay, so we got our code reader plugged in here. We're gonna go and pull the codes out of the engine. And you can see there, so we got that P0051. Uh, heated O2 sensor, heater control circuit, bank two, sensor one. Uh, it's a current code, it's also a history code. And like I mentioned, the majority of the time when you have O2 heater codes or AFR heater codes, typically the AFR O2 sensor is actually open circuited. So we'll check that out to be sure though. Unfortunately for us, bank two is right in the front. Uh, so it's a cylinder number two on this car. Uh, so we don't even have to go underneath it, which is awesome. And that comes back here and is plugged in here. Uh, so I will grab us a ohm meter. We'll check to see if the heater circuit indeed is open. If it is, we'll just grab a test light, make sure that the uh, heater circuit on the vehicle works just fine. Uh, our meter turning on here. Get it unplugged. We don't need a wiring diagram because uh, it's going to be the two wires that are the same color, so in this case they're both black, and that I've yet to see that not be true. Uh, either it's, you know two black wires, two white wires. You know it's always the heater circuit, so you can kind of kind of think on that. We'll go this digital meter. I don't know what the resistance spec is supposed to be. I assume somewhere between you know probably two and eight ohms, uh, perhaps. set up here, get up where everybody can see it. I suspect it's going to be open circuited anyways. Make sure our test leads are good. Alright, good enough for the girls I run with. Now we're going to go right across the two black terminals here. Okay. Hold them steady. My digits. Get up on there. There's one. Oops. And there we are. She's open circuited. So that's pretty definitive. I tell you what, let's uh, grab a new one. We can uh, justify opening the package now. Uh oh. And look what they did. They sent us the wrong one. And sons of hoo -hahs. Got it right from Toyota and they sent us the wrong freaking one. Look at it, the cord's way too short. Try to get ahead of the game here, folks. What's our resistance on the new one? 2.5 ohms. It's new. It's we're wrong. That's awesome. Freaking Toyota. Ordered OEM by the bin. Well, let me see what I can do. Called Toyota. Yeah, that's the wrong one. That's really sweet. That's about as handy as tits on a bull. That's what I like to say. Anywho, now we gotta wait till the afternoon till we can get another one. Um, what we can do though, in the meantime, which two is the heater circuit? So it's the two out. We're just gonna go with a simple test light. Now we may have to start the vehicle uh, to have the heater circuit turn on. I assume. So I got the test light in there. It is not lit up. Key's still on. Let me fire it up real quick. See if that works off a duty cycle. Well, there we go. The diagnosis is over, baby. Son of a pumpkin. Because I thought we were going to... Had this, it would be all happy and happy video and OEM parts. Not now, folks. 
And that's just how it goes in the shop some days. You think you're ahead of the game. Ordering it from the OE by the bin and still get boned. So now I gotta call a customer and tell them it's not gonna be ready till the afternoon. I don't think it'll be a big deal for them. Uh, is what it is. As soon as it shows up, we'll pop it in there, clear the codes. There's really not much more to see. Uh, we'll just verify the resistance on the other sensor, but you know, a couple ohms, that's about right. We're back. It's after lunch. Couldn't go OE, but we went just as close as we could. We got Denzo, who's the OE maker, right here in America. Let's see if this one is correct. It appears to be. I actually ordered two Denzos. Ordered a left and a right just in case their idea of the left was different than my idea of the left. So the front of the engine should be the left of the engine. And there we go. It looks like we're the right length. Uh, just for grins and giggles, let's check the resistance of this little guy. See where it sits in comparison to the OE, which we already measured. It's going to be our two black wires. Two point seven, point six five. So what was it? An OE one, two point five. A little bit extra wire on this may account for that, or the fact that I didn't calibrate my leads one or the other. But close enough. So now we got to get the little guy out of here. So it's got a couple of these retainers. I'll get one off here. I'll show you. They're kind of a pisser to get to. Holds the wire on the hose. I suppose if it comes down to it, you just cut them and use zip ties. But the idea is you squeeze these two wings and it disengages it from the uh, little latch on there. Then you pull it apart. They're kind of tough to squeeze by hand. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Didn't know my own strength. I'm just undo the connector again. Gotta feed that out of there. Piece of tape off there. We'll get a O2 sensor socket now. The engine's cold, so this should come out pretty easy. Oh, lovely. go there's the OEM so it looks just like our Denso which it should and I do my little never sees packet so I smeared a little never sees on the new one very carefully Put that baby in get my sock in a drop Snug it up. Factory specs, of course, as usual. Click. Probably well, we should check to make sure our connector was the same first, but we didn't. Look at that. And let's get our wire clips back on. We're done. left to do is clear out our codes now so this code when it was uh, an active fault it would set the uh, service engine soon light immediately so when we clear it out we start it up everything should be good no more light naturally but uh, we know that we did a good job because we tested it and we know that the heater circuit was open and we also know that it um, what else do we know? All right, so we're gonna go in here. We're going to erase codes. Are we sure? Of course we are. What's that say? Command canceled. <laughs> I should pay attention to what I'm doing. I wanna click to the yes, there we go. Did I click yes? I did not. No, I did. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna get her, uh, get her cleared out. But like I said, we know that we did it right, uh, you know, because we checked to make sure the heater circuit was good, and then we verified that the heater element in the AFR was indeed open. Command's remaining, so now we can shut her down. Give it a second. 
fire it up. And then our light should stay off. Uh, like I said before, it would come back on like instantaneously. We've got a blinking uh, maintenance required light, but it's all we have. Must be due for a little change. I don't see the sticker on it. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, pretty simple. That P0051 uh, FR heater circuit is going to apply to oxygen sensors or fuel ratio sensors. Doesn't matter upstream, downstream, where it's at. Uh, heater circuits, a heater circuit. Uh, sometimes the heaters are key on engine off. Sometimes they're like they are in this one, which is uh, like most cases, key on engine running. They may come on, stay on steady for a period of time, and then switch to a you know a duty cycle controlled or you know pulse width modulated type heater. So don't be surprised if you're checking it with your test light and your test light blinks. Uh, that's quite common. Let's see here. And uh, yes, we're gonna have more coming up on the what I would consider like a DIY. Uh, scan tool. Now I've used Actron for many many years. I've got an older version of this one um, and I anticipate I got this one in anticipation of doing uh, a review type thing for you guys. I don't even really know what to call it at this point uh, simply because a lot of folks have asked what do you use for you know what's a good you know like DIY type um, you know OBD2, OBD1 type scan tool to read some data and I've always been impressed with my older Actron that I've had I know, probably like 11, 12, 11, 12 years. It's a fantastic old tool. It's been really stable. Uh, so this is the newer version of my old one. And uh, so we'll be going over that. Show you, give you guys my thoughts on it. Show you kind of some of the features and uh, whatnot there. So be on the lookout for that at some point in the future. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to be notified of that, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you get notifications to your phone or tablet or desktop or wherever notifications go out there in the internet land. And uh, find us on Google Plus, Facebook, and Patreon. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.